everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Passler Eraser Pencil 7802. This was a new discovery for me. It's similar to some other eraser pencils that you might see out there. Um, I was less familiar with this brand, but it's actually a better pencil. So let's take a look down at the page and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so let's look at what comes in the package. It's four pieces. You get three different eraser pencils, and this is pretty important, their own pencil sharpener. So I'll show you the difference. If I sharpen this one, which you can see I have already here, with this other pencil sharpener that I've used for other pencils, it actually gets a whole bunch of like the eraser, I'm sorry, the, the pencil marks go on the eraser. So do you see how my eraser is now turned black or brown? I must have been using um, a colored pencil with this pencil sharpener before. And so instead, if you keep it just sharpened with the pencil sharpener that it comes with, it preserves it as clean and white and it's not gonna smudge anything else onto your um, paper as you're erasing with it. And so then let me show you, I'm actually gonna use the longer one because that feels a little bit short to me. If I want to erase, I'm gonna be able to get in here and get really specific detail to clean up anything. Um, if I have any smudges, I can go right into the drawing and erase out highlights if I want to. And pull really tiny detail. And then it has this brush on the end. Now, some of you who've been with me for a long time might remember that um, I reviewed the Faber-Castell eraser. I can't, I think it's called the Perfection Eraser. Um, <laughs> that's almost identical to this. It's a, in a wooden case, you sharpen it with a pencil sharpener, it has a little brush on the end. There are some real differences with this one though. The Passler is actually a polymer eraser, so it's a much gummier, sort of rubbery eraser, and it actually works a lot better than the Faber-Castell one. The Faber-Castell is actually a really dry, dusty eraser, and so I found that it didn't erase very well. This one is like your large white um, polymer erasers, and so it's going to erase a lot more easily than the other one. Um, the brush is a little bit different too. It's a little bit softer bristles, and I find that it erases um, and, and then you can brush the crumbs off really easily with this brush. So this has been a really great addition to my drawing toolkit and I hope you guys will like it as well.